Aloha! So in today's video, I am going to go over how you can set up your workspace at home. So on Mondays, we are going to be using um, the Macs in the computer lab. However, when you guys are, are working on your assignments or looking over your hack witches or your Swift playgrounds, you may want to be able to do some of your work at home. Please remember that you do need to use a Mac in order to use Xcode. So if you don't have a Mac, you're going to have to use um, either borrow a Mac from someone or you're going to have to use um, one of the desktops in the computer lab. Otherwise, you're welcome to work from home. So what I'm going to do is show you guys an example. So say from the Monday lab, you created an Xcode project. You committed and pushed everything up into the cloud before you left class. And then you're at home and you need to continue your Hack Witch or your Swift Playgrounds um, from home on your own Mac. How are you going to do that? So I'm going to go ahead and show you how. First of all, you have to go to github.com and sign into your repository. So as you can see here, I'm in my repository right now. What I'm going to do, this is just a test, this is just an example. I'm going to click on clone test. So we're going to open up that repository. And right here where it says clone or download, I want you to select that. And you have a choice of opening the project opening the repository in Xcode. So let's go ahead and open in Xcode. It's going to prompt you, ask you if you would like to open in Xcode. Go ahead and do that. And we want to clone the tech, we want to clone the project. And I want to make sure that, so you want to make sure you know where you're cloning the project. In this case, I'm going to clone on the desktop and I can see that it says desktop right here. Clone and we're going to clone. And just like that, my project has been cloned. Now remember guys that you need to set up your workspace at home. So you need to um, have your Apple ID all set up. Um, and you need to do your source control account setup. And remember that's Xcode preferences and then you go into your accounts. So you need to make sure that that's all set up before you go ahead and do this. But let's go ahead. So now let's pretend that I created this project at the computer lab. Now I'm at home working on my computer. I've cloned the project. Let's go ahead and check out storyboard here. Ooh, so we can see clone test in Xcode. Great. So let's go ahead and add another label. And then we can say, we can change the text to um, project cloned successfully. Let's go ahead and do that. Now this is just to test everything out, get you guys comfortable with the whole process. So we've made a change right now. And now let's say you did a few more changes, you wrapped up the assignment, you're ready to commit and push everything. So we're gonna commit. And right here you can see that main dot storyboard. That's um, the only file that has been changed. So that's good. It's already checked. So added second label and added some text. So we're going to push. We're going to commit and push to the remote. So you can do that sort of all um, in one um, time here. So we're going to commit one file and push. And it seems like it was successful, but we only know if we go to github.com. So remember guys, you need to refresh 
and here added second label and added some text. So no matter where you work, as long as you have set up your workflow, your workspace at home and you have your workspace at the computer lab, um, as long as your accounts are all there, um, as long as it's pushing up to github.com, um, that's how you're able to work from home or work from another computer somewhere else. Um, I will be checking your code, um, so it's imperative that you understand how to do this process because that's how I'm able to give you credit for your assignments. Um, I'm able to look at your code in the repository. Um, if you have any questions regarding um, this process, please definitely let me know. Um, sometimes there will be further instruction as to where to turn in your assignments. Um, so just be sure to stay, stay up to date with your code and your repositories and you should be fine for the class.